so finally back today I'm gonna be installing my rear drum brakes on the passenger side on my 1986 Ford Mustang GT all right so yesterday when I installed the driver's side drum brakes it was difficult it was my first time ever doing drum brakes at all it's a completely different game than in, you know putting on disc brakes so uh today i decided that i you know since i since i did it once i'll go ahead and uh record it i believe i know what i'm doing now uh but let's see So we got the car lifted up, we got the wheel off, now we just got to take off the drum and then we'll see the internals, the hardwares, the springs, that type of stuff. Let's get to it. We're going to go ahead and uh, the new shoes. As you can tell, it's a big difference. Now, uh, these are size specific, so you have to be careful when you're putting them on. Uh, the first time I did it, like I said, it was definitely a learning lesson for me, myself. Uh, I've never did these before, so. But, go ahead and put these brake shoes on with, uh, with the hardware. I guess also that I should mention, if you've never done anything before and you're just going into it, doing it, when you disassemble it, just try your best to remember how you've taken it apart. It's going to help a bunch as far as putting it back together if you really don't know. That's where I'm at, so that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm practicing. Oh yeah, just thought I should mention. You do need spring tools or else you will be trying to, I don't know, I guess use like needle nose pliers or something like that to pull those springs.
so I got that spring in to hold this this first brake shoe I put in put in on in place. Uh, now I'm just gonna add the additional hardware for the parking brake cable. Like I said, make sure that you got the parking brake cable ball inside of uh, inside of the right there. If not, you're just gonna have to redo the whole process again. All right, so I got both brake shoes on. I got both these upper springs on. Um, I didn't get the footage of me doing it because it was a little bit of a struggle, but um, I've, kind of, I've only been outside right now for probably about like an hour or so. It's not that bad, like I said, once you get the, once you do one for the first time, you kind of like get an idea of how it's supposed to go. Like, are you gonna be super quick at it the second time? Like. You'll be quicker than before but um but yeah so this is both brake shoes on i just have to put a few more remaining parts on uh like the spring that goes down towards the parking brake cable man the uh, self adjuster uh before you put this spring on though put the self adjuster on because if not the spring's gonna be so tight you're gonna have to redo the whole thing again Let's get to it. All right, so we got all the hardware put back on. We have the, we have, we have it done. We have it done. All right, so I just got the drum brakes put on, put all the hardware back on. Like I said, this is this is pretty time consuming if if you're a beginner at putting drum brakes on. You know, it's completely different than sliding on disc brakes and then loosening your two bolts on the end and putting brake pads on on the calipers. Like it's it's completely different. Um, but it becomes easier i can say that much because the first day i did it it was definitely much harder than than today and that was because i didn't really i didn't know what i was doing at all and today you know going into it i still have an idea but you know it's on there it's working properly i just have to uh adjust the self adjuster down there and then um slide the drum onto the brake shoe so let me do that and then uh go in the car put the emergency brake back on make sure it's you know nice and uh nice and tight not too tight but nice and tight let's try that Right there. 